Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to build an Axial Flux motor. And I'm not actually going to design it myself. I thought it'd be fun to ask ChatGPT to basically design an Axial Flux motor for us. So let's see how that goes. Before we get into it, let me quickly explain what an axial flux motor actually is. So unlike the more common radial flux motors, an axial flux motor uses a unique design where the magnetic field runs parallel to the axis of rotation. And this allows for a more efficient and compact design. These motors are also often called uh, pancake motors because of their very thin and flat design. This also makes them very lightweight, which is useful for applications such as electric vehicles and drones. So now let's ask ChatGPT to design one. Designing an axial flux motor, often referred to as a pancake motor due to its flat and compact design, involves several steps. Axial flux motors have the advantage of high power density and efficiency making them suitable for various applications, including electric vehicles. All right, so I won't robots. bore you with all the details, but I spent a couple of hours going back and forth with ChatGPT trying to finalize the design and it went pretty well. There were some questionable diagrams that it gave me like this one. Uh, I'm not really sure what to make of this, but besides that, it ran really smoothly. And this is what I came up with. So I'll go over the design really quickly. Uh, in an axial flux motor, there's actually two main components. You've got the stator, which usually holds the coils, and then you've got the rotor that holds the magnets. So in my case, I decided to split the stator into two parts, a top part and a bottom part, and they're gonna hold six of these wound copper coils. And then I'm gonna bolt the top and the bottom part together to form the stator. Then the rotor is even easier. Uh, it's just a flat disc with eight cutouts for some neodymium magnets. And then I'm gonna use an eight millimeter bolt as a shaft to hold the rotor to the stator. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I have no idea if this thing is gonna run. Uh, it was designed by ChatGPT after all, uh, but there's only one way to find out. Let's send these files to the printer and start assembling this thing. Okay, so I've got everything 3D printed and the first thing I'm going to do is wind the coils and to make my life a little bit easier I designed these little spools to wind the coils around so hopefully that's going to make it a lot easier. Guys, I just broke the spool in half. It's super annoying. The top just came clean off. How does that even happen? That is so annoying. Now I have to start all over again. Oh, I hate winding these coils. I keep losing count of how many uh, turns I've done. And then I have to start all over again. I'm, I'm never doing this again. Okay, so that was really annoying, but it's done. I've got um, three pairs of these coils wound, so a total of uh, six coils. And I'm just gonna add some of this electrical uh, high temperature tape in order to make sure that the coils don't unwind again. Because I really, really, really do not wanna do this again. Okay, so now the three pairs of coils are assembled and I'm gonna try and fit them into the stator. So let's go. Mm. 
So after struggling for quite a while, I finally managed to fit all six coils uh, into the lower half of the stator and wire the copper wire around. So now I'm gonna turn this into a uh, Y configuration motor. And that means soldering these three wires together. And that basically closes the loop on this three phase motor. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now the bottom part of the stator is done, solder the wires together, looks pretty neat. So now I'm gonna put the top of the stator onto the bottom. So let's go. Okay, so now the stator is done. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move on and make the rotor. And the rotor is actually quite simple. We just have to fit eight magnets, uh, four with the north side facing forwards, and then four with the south side facing forwards. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna determine what is north, what is south. It's quite easy with a cheap little compass like this. We can just hold it up to the magnet and the south should be attracted to the south pole and the north should be attracted to the north. All right, so I'm gonna mark these out real quick, just so I don't forget which is which. That's north, and then that should be south. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use some hot glue to fit these into uh, the stator. So to make sure that the magnets don't go anywhere, I'm gonna use this uh, steel sheet to hold the magnets down whilst I glue them in. I'm just gonna use some hot glue to keep the magnets in. So hopefully that works. Okay, so I've got some eight millimeter threaded rod pieces right here, and I'm gonna insert those into the stator. I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue to make sure that they don't go anywhere. So let's go do that. So now the axial flux motor is completely done. Let's plug it in and see if it runs. Oh, 
I'll show you from the back, it's really not moving. It wants to though. Okay, um, so here's the deal. I can't get this thing to run. Uh, I can get it to move back and forth a little bit and sometimes it does a few rotations and then just sort of quits. Um, I don't really know what the problem is. I think it's probably the driver board. It's either putting out too much voltage or it produces too many pulses too quickly. So it basically runs at a higher speed than what this motor is designed to run at. Either way, I'm probably gonna have to get a new driver board probably something like an O-Drive with a little bit more control. Unfortunately, O-Drives are kind of expensive, so I'm only gonna buy one if this video gets 100 likes, and then I'll make a second video on this Axial Flux motor trying to get it to run. So make sure to subscribe for that video. But for now, um, this is a failure. Uh, JetGPT cannot design an Axial Flux motor because this thing doesn't run. If you guys have any suggestions on how I could maybe fix this thing, uh, please let me know. I'll have a link to my Discord server in the description. So go check that out, go join. And yeah, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time.